Hey friends, welcome back to Vincent Gigi's Super Channel G and look what we're going to be doing for you here today. Marvel Legends, Super Villains, Baron Zemo. I can't wait to get started. Look how cool he looks. I believe, I believe this is a Walgreens exclusive. Not 100% sure because they didn't come with a sticker this time, but I'm pretty sure that it is. And so I can't wait to get this open and this is also one that would go perfectly with our Build-A-Figure set that was the Super Villains that we still have to open, so guess what? We'll try and open that, hopefully, this week. We have so much to catch up on. So guys, you're not gonna wanna miss this. And an extra special shout out to Sterling Collins, a great, great friend of ours. So, before we get started, guys, if you're not already subscribed to our channel, please hit the subscribe button below. Hit the notification bell next to it so you can get notified every time I have a new video come up. Talk to us in the comments, we'd love to hear from you. Let us know what you think of this great new Marvel Legends figure of Baron Zemo. And yeah, give us a big thumbs up. And what do you say we go ahead and get started right now? What is up, Vincent Gigi? Vincent Gigi? Super Channel G. Super Channel G. GG. Vincent GG from Super Channel G. Super Channel G. Vincent GG on Super Channel G. So tight. Don't stop doing what you're doing. Congratulations on all your success. Congratulations on everything. I will see you on the TV. Uh. Super Channel G. God, is this great! All right, my friends, welcome back to Vincent GD's Super Channel G, and I'm just so excited to take a closer look at this Baron Zemo. And it looks so outstanding. I'm excited to find this, that I found this at Walgreens. Look at this beautiful packaging. Again, this is gonna go great with the whole way from the super villains that came with this beautiful packaging, which was a Build-A-Figure set. Look how gorgeous this package is. Look at the beautiful art. Now this is the same picture, uh, mirror image right here. And then of course, once more here on the back, but look how great this comic book Baron Zemo looks. Looks absolutely outstanding. I love that green that's in the back. And let's see what the back says here. So it says, Baron Zemo, born into greatness and great darkness. Helmet Zemo is a man of terrific and terrible genius. The 13th Baron Zemo has sworn everlasting vengeance against his family's nemesis, Captain America. All right, so great. Let's get it open and let's see how awesome this actually is. There we go. All right, take care to not damage our box here. Look how great this looks. It's like, it's like a burst. Look at that. A little bit of green and slight, light, lighter green yellow. And take a look at our Baron Zemo. Let's get just a little bit closer. Let's see how this sword looks. If I can get it out. <laughs> okay, let's get Baron Zemo out first. There we go. It's in there nice and snug. Okay, so let's see. Uh, it's tucked in there here, here, and here. So let's get out one of the parts that's tucked in. There we go, and then slide this out. And then we have a couple of hands, let's see. Well, these look like they would hold the weapon. Very similar to how this one would, but I mean, what's the difference here? This looks like there's not a ton of difference, so we'll have to pull that out. But we can definitely have both hands holding a weapon. Let's take a closer look. Man, look how gorgeous this looks, and I can't get over how awesome our new camera looks also. Look at how beautiful this looks, and look at our zoom. It's absolutely gorgeous. So let's get it about right there. Look at that. Awesome. Okay. And so let's see what sort of mobility we have uh, head so we can pose it. It comes, let's see. Let's just pop the head off and see what kind of joint we have here. Well, I thought it was going to be easy. And guess what? It wasn't. There we go. It's this that we've been seeing more and more of. Okay. Let's pop that right back on. You can move the head back about this far. And, we, and the, since the joint is a stick that moves back and forth, you can see that we can do that. Bring the chin this far down. Tilt the head a little bit side to side. Look at that. There we are. We can 
pretty good mobility not super far back and not super far forward but pretty decent let's see as far as the arms interesting that um, we have this where is this even attached so the arm moves and this really doesn't move with it it looks like it looks like there we go it's attached underneath so that's interesting we have this ring right here but it's attached underneath and probably right where the shoulder um, meets right here on the top so let's see hmm maybe it's attached right at the shoulder interesting look at that definitely don't want it to rip out so the arm comes out to about a 90 degree angle maybe slightly more there we are let's see we have double joints at the elbows so that brings the arms pretty well in look at that and then it turns above the bicep look at that same thing on both arms let's bring in this double joint here look at that so that's pretty awesome so we definitely have uh, a great amount to be able to bring the arms all the way in ab crunch we definitely have that too uh, the only thing is it does hit this which is a soft plastic is um, his gold belt right here which looks like it's just missing like a like a wrestling championship <laughs> symbol right there we do move at the waist so there's great um, mobility in this figure to be able to pose it let's bring this down right here look at that see the legs moving the high part of the thigh we can bring them to what appears to be almost a 90 degree angle forward which is great look at that we have double joints of the knees which stick pretty well so I'm happy about that and I was hoping we didn't have this shin movement but we do and then we have a uh, great ankle pivot here look at this doesn't that look awesome? We can get great poses there. So all in all, got a great pose with this figure, or ability to. The legs come back. Uh, it hits right here, bringing this far back, but we can pose it pretty well either way. So this has got great range of motion. We have our sword that we can probably just put right here in his arm. And you know what? I didn't even check. His wrists, look, check this out. So we can bring this pretty far down and forward. So that's cool. And then we can turn the wrists as well. This one comes back and forth like this. And this one back and forth like that. So that's the big difference is that these wrists, they'll go out and in where this one goes up and down. So that's kind of cool. Look at that. So let's see about getting a pose where he's holding the sword so I don't know about using a fist but either way let's have him kind of more in a defensive stance I can probably bring this leg this way and so that'll look cool again I don't know about this fist right here but that should still hold up pretty well. Look at that. I don't know how I'm feeling about this belt with this little bit of gold right here, but it does look cool overall. Let's see if I bring the sword in. Hmm. Interesting, and maybe if we have the other hand that isn't, I was gonna say maybe it's not leaning forward so much. Let's take a look because it's like pouring down like that. And even when you bring it up, it's like, it doesn't quite settle well. Let's, let's change this hand. We can just pop it out like that. Bring this one in. Put that in there and let's see how much difference that makes. It's a little bit of difference. If you wanna see, let's zoom in right here. Here we are see because this does extend further at an angle here so if I had this down it would look like this and it comes in and out like that so what are your thoughts on this I'd love to hear about them in the, in the comment section look at that let's set that aside let's bring his foot to stand the way it would be more natural 
And there we go. All right, cool. Look how great this guy looks. Look at that. Wow. All right, guys. Well, I want to thank you for hanging out with us here today. If you've not already subscribed to our channel, please hit the subscribe button below. Hit the notification bell next to it so you're notified every time we have a new video come out. Talk to us in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Let us know what you think of this cool new Baron Zemo Marvel Legend action figure. And yeah, give us a big thumbs up. And check out our YouTube channel for more great videos like this. We'll be posting so many more. And we have so many other hundreds and hundreds of videos that I'm sure you're going to like. So thank you guys for hanging out with us here today. And we'll be seeing you soon on Vincent Gigi's Super Channel G. Peace.